Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This video I'm going to show you the best settings for performance on the Acer Nitro 5 laptop. I've had this laptop now for over a year and I've been playing with all the settings since I got it and I'm pretty much just about found what I find works best for this laptop while gaming. There's a few other things you can do outside of the laptop that will help with gaming. Monitor being one, they can really help you boost FPS and you can actually change the hertz. So the standard um, hertz you get in these laptops, you can either get 60, 120 or 144 hertz screen. The higher the hertz, the better the quality. I've actually got 165 hertz monitor, so I can now run at that. I'll show you guys how to do that if you've got a uh, monitor. One of the other things you can do that really does help is actually have a nice laptop cooler. They really help the airflow up and through the laptop, which then keep those temperatures down. And then if the laptop is cooler, it can actually perform better and give you more performance. And that's what we all want, more performance. I mean, they are a budget laptop, to be honest with you. That's all they are, a budget gaming laptop. But for the money you pay, they are pretty good. And these few extra little things you can do can actually really help you boost performance. So what I'll do now is I'll pull you over to the screen and we will start going through all the settings. All right, guys. So once you've got your laptop computer loaded up, the first thing you can do, and this is just a real basic one, is you see a little tab down here. All these icons here are programs running in the background. Now, believe it or not, these can actually sap quite a bit of performance from your laptop. Easy way to check, open up Task Manager. You can have a look here. So like here, you've got Epic Games Launcher. That's using 100 megabytes of RAM. And you've got Skype. That's using another 100 megabytes of RAM. You know, all these other things here. Look, Steam, 44. I mean, I know these individually don't seem like massive numbers but if you haven't got a lot of ram this can really add up and really suck performance from your laptop i mean ram itself is a good thing to upgrade um when i basically when i got this laptop it came with eight gigabytes which is pretty basic for you know nowadays you want at least 16 for gaming um, I've actually upgraded this to 32 gigabyte of ram i've done a video of that i'll put it up at the top of the screen if you guys want to check it so you can find out how to do that but yeah ram's a big one that can really help your performance so if you just close down all of these icons that you don't need that will give you a little bit more of a boost and um, once you've done that believe it or not there is actually a game mode on these laptops if i can spot it right so open up the game mode make sure this is turned on a lot of these settings won't be turned on unless you physically turn them on so that's another one have that turned on um, once you've done that, you can load up the Acer NitroSense. And there's a few little things in here that you can do to help you out. One of the first things you can do is set it to gaming FPS. Now, I've heard loads of times from you guys um, in the previous video I've done um, that it's stuck on like music and movies. I really don't know why it does this. For me, once I put it on FPS, it stayed there. Um, I know a couple of you have given me feedback and said once you've... Um, deleted NitroSense and reinstalled it and then put it on FPS it stayed there so it might be worth trying that to see if that will fix it um, over here on your power plan high performance uh, back through high performance obviously having your laptop plugged in will give you a lot more performance than it does on the battery um, power itself so that's another biggie and through here you can check all your temps as well and make sure everything's um, running nice and cool and here cool boost this basically means, if you've got this turned on, that your fans will run faster um, to keep your laptop cool and therefore giving you more performance. Once you've done this, you can open up your GeForce experience here and check for updates. So if I close that, I've already got it preloaded. Um, updates is quite a biggie with these. Um, NVIDIA like to bring out these updates you know, once a month, twice a month. So it's a good thing to check on these drivers to make sure you've got the most up-to-date one. Before I started this video, I checked and I did have one. So I've updated that today. Um, and you can see there, release date uh, was the, oh, because this is the American way, so it's the 22nd of the 3rd. So that's a couple of days out now. So yeah, worth checking that for you guys. And uh, once you've done that, go on to the settings in here. There's a few things you can check on here. Um, a couple of things like whisper mode, you want that turned off. Whisper mode, basically all this does is it makes your fans run slower to keep it quiet 
The problem with that is, if your fans are running slow, your laptop gets hot, and then it pulls loads of performance to keep it cool. So you want that turned off. Um, this battery boost only applies when you're just running it on your battery power, so I always have that turned off. Um, other things you want to look at over here, which can actually tell you what spec your laptop is. So I've got the GTX 1650, which is the four gigabyte graphics card, the i5 9th gen CPU, and as you can see there, I've got the 32 gigabyte RAM, and I've got the 165 hertz. Now this is the monitor screen I'm running, not the laptop screen. So it's worth checking there um, that you're running the hertz that you should be running. Um, another thing in here, this in-game overlay, um, you can have this turned on or off. I have it turned off because basically all this does is record in the background. So then you can cop, you know, capture that gameplay if you're if that's what you're recording, um, and then you can um, save it. But if you have that turned off, it's not doing anything in the background. So that's another good thing that you can do to uh, try and save a little bit more performance. But um, going back to the monitor or screen to make sure you're running at the right hertz because I've seen a few of you guys upgrade your laptop screens now because when I first got my laptop screen it was a 60 hertz then I upgraded it to 144 and then I went and just got a monitor which is even higher so if you right click and open your NVIDIA control panel when it loads okay so if you look on here on the top left, change resolution. So you can see here, I've got the option of 1.4 and 165. 1.4 is the laptop screen, uh, and 165 is the monitor, which I've got. Um, I think 165 hertz um, is probably about the max you want to go for these laptops, because like I said previously, they are budget. I think if you went for a 240 hertz, I think you would really start to struggle. But um, the monitor has definitely helped me um, gain performance so yeah guys that's pretty much the basic of it i know there's not too much detail there but these just little things here and there if you do them all collectively they can really help with your performance right guys that's going to be about it for this video i hope it's helped if you've got any questions don't hesitate just ask me in the comments below i will always help you if i can um i've got plenty of other videos on the laptop upgrades all that sort of stuff so if you want to check them out, I'll put them up in the screen so you can see. And yeah, if you want to subscribe to the channel, that'll be awesome. And if you give us a thumbs up, that'll be cool as well. Um, the channel's really grown over the last year. And I appreciate every one of you that's been a part of this. And uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed it. So I'm just going to keep doing what I like. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Look after yourselves.